fit in this end zone. All I gotta say. He says you've been in this end zone. Yeah. Hey, Dirk. <laughs> How many times? How many times? Yeah. Enough to make the opponents cry. <laughs> How's it feel to be back on the old stomping grounds, G Riv? Um, love Henderson Bill. Henderson Bill is a part of my my life. Oh yeah. It helped make me and I helped make it. <laughs> by the way, if I didn't say that. This is the River's Edge. Welcome to my channel. My dad is getting inducted into the Hendersonville High School Hall of Fame tonight. And I'm so excited. I am just like, oh my gosh. If you don't know, Hendersonville High School is one of these renowned historical high schools built in 1901 in Western North Carolina. It's just as prestigious as kind of high schools can get. We're known for football, we're known for basketball, we're known for winning a lot of state championships. But outside of that, we're also known for previously having the number one public school band in the country. Our arts are amazing. Just any and everything that Hendersonville High School does is just awesome. So for my dad to be accepted and being brought into this year's class of Hall of Fame inductees, I'm just like, <sighs> my heart is so full today. How things are gonna go is at six o'clock, we're gonna head down to the high school. From there, they're gonna show us the new building and stuff like that because like I said, the school was built in 1901, so we're going to actually see the, the construction that's being done on the high school and all the new stuff that they're adding on to it. And then from there, I think my dad might be giving a acceptance speech. I have a dream. And then by 7.30, we're at the football game. We're gonna be playing Chase High School, which is also an undefeated team. I know we've lost one game. Hendersonville actually lost to Dabo Sweeney's son's football team in South Carolina. I have no clue how that whole collab happened, but yes, apparently Hendersonville is playing the number one football programs out of South Carolina, because why not, right? <laughs> but we're gonna be playing Chase. Hopefully we win. I know that we have a really great team and just the whole thing is gonna be awesome. I know it's gonna be a sellout crowd. I know my dad is gonna just be like super emotional. <laughs> just happy to be around people especially because all the COVID stuff going on because COVID is still a thing but it's gonna be a good time today so let's hop into it oh god they've already started <laughs> Now I get to talk about one of my brothers. Um, I, I grew up in this school, I grew up in this system, obviously. I had some brothers, and one of them was Gary Rivers. 
Uh, still is my brother. I still see him all the time. We still talk like we were in the second grade, and I think that's the first year we, we were together. So uh, it's, it's really neat. Um, I'm not going to go through this because I've got a little special way of doing this today, but I wanted to tell you a couple of things about, about Gary. Um, he, uh, he was a very strong, strong Bearcat in everything that he did. Uh, he was a great student. Um, he did things the way they were supposed to be done. He did the right thing, which we talk about a lot nowadays. That's my favorite saying is, are you doing the right thing for Hendersonville High School? Uh, and he was one of those that did it every time. Uh, and you could tell by the way that people flocked to him. So it was really neat, um, you know, to know him and grow up with him and still uh, be with him all the time. But um, he was, uh, he got into who's who his junior year in high school here. Um, he went to Tennessee on a baseball scholarship, but he played football, uh, basketball, and baseball here. Uh, we were on some pretty good teams. We didn't lose many games, but uh, we never won the big one. Uh, we won our freshman year, uh, but uh, he, he was a heck of an athlete and still is. Um, he, um, he went to Tennessee on a baseball scholarship. Uh, he was drafted in the third round by the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, was going to be a big time player, got a little bit hurt, um, at least that's what he says. <laughs> but he got injured, so he couldn't follow through on that. But uh, after all of that happened, uh, he ended up back at home. Uh, he taught and coached at the junior high and at the high school. Uh, he coached, uh, uh, he was actually part of the basketball state championships that we won. He had his own baseball uh, state championship in 1998. He, the kids loved him, uh, and they still do. As a matter of fact, you've got a couple of players here that you didn't even see. Uh, uh, one of them was in school for about eight years in high school. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was on the baseball and the basketball championship. That's something. He wasn't much of an athlete either. <laughs> but Gary's, uh, Gary means so much to the school. Um, he... Uh, continued after, I think you guys moved to Bermuda for a little while, which is where his wife grew up, but uh, they moved back uh, and went to Blue Ridge Community College and was actually a, a counselor out there for probably 15 years or so and just retired a little while ago. He saw me on Main Street on Labor Day, said, it's time to retire. I, I love it. Uh, but he, he did a great job out there and everybody that knows him knows what his past has done for everybody in Hendersonville. And I wanted to bring his son up uh, to talk a little bit about him. And that normally doesn't happen, but his son lives in Bermuda. Uh, so he doesn't see his dad a lot. So I want Grant to come on up here and finish it up, this on your dad. Come on, I'll do a better job than you. Do. Good evening, everybody. I wasn't actually expecting to say anything, but Mr. Wilkins is just the man of persuasion, let me tell you. <laughs> Honestly, I, I can't tell you a lot of things that my dad accomplished over the last few decades, but I can tell you exactly what he means to my family and so many of the people that come in contact with him on a daily basis. The man is just always giving his heart to people. He is a people-centered person, and I've just gained so many brothers, so many amazing relationships, just through a lot of the interactions that my dad and my mom have just fostered in our household. I mean, there, there were Christmases where I'm yelling at my parents, like, buy me Christmas presents, and they're <laughs> buying my friends Christmas presents who are less fortunate, but it's just, Dad, you are, you are really a man after God's own heart. And it is my greatest honor to have been able to fly here and, and see this moment. My dad used to tell me all the time whenever I would get up, every single morning, and I, I promise you, every morning he would, he would look at me and he'd say, Grant, rise and shine, rise and shine. He said that for decades. And you know what I want to say to you, Dad? This is your moment, rise and shine. Yeah. Yeah.
appreciate you coming up here crying in public in front of me. Um, and I may, I may ramble. I can get around 65, you ramble. Um, I want to thank the Alumni Association from the bottom of my heart. It's a bearcat heart. It's a bearcat heart. And I have the scars. <laughs> I really do. They're, they're legitimate. This is a, a moment, um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Because I retired a few years ago and I went home and started gardening. And just kind of left the scene. Because I didn't want to mess up any, any other parents' kids. <laughs> but it's a, a moment of Thanksgiving and a celebration for me because of other people. And I have to start with the one that made the biggest influence black boy was sitting on the back step with a half deflated football and this woman came up and said we're going to go play football that started athletics um, Ms. Rooney Ms. Rooney Rivers my mother Jesse Ferguson taught me how to wind up when I first wound up he gave me a baseball set threw it right in your front yard and I wound up with the wrong leg. I was throwing left hand. He said, no, boy. <laughs> Go the other way. Billy Rollins. Someone will know. I think BJ had a lot to do with this. That career. I spent time with BJ and his dying father. It was my father, too. <coughs> Jim Lauer. And what he meant... <coughs> Along the way, on my journey, Joe Hunt, Jim Pardue, Coach C, Mark Connors, Ben Eric, are my, my brothers that I have listed on here. I did some notes. Chris Ferguson, Bobby Wilkins, <coughs> and Ronald Boyd. We are not kidding when we say brothers runs deeper than deep. I would do anything for them, you know what? And they would probably do anything for me. Quincy was beyond description. Right there. <laughs> I have two sons. One from my my wife and one from New York. <laughs> who came and sat and declared his greatness on the steps out here at the old gym and I said not here you're a bear cat I don't know what else to call you you're not that good I'm the best baseball player on the team <laughs> and I salute all those players chasing up a state championship is a tough animal and I declared out of my cockiness, we're gonna do this thing. Anyway, so yeah, he was cocky. <laughs> we're gonna do this thing. I'm gonna take you to the farmer's land. We got close and failed, close and failed, close and failed. And I took a ball team out. We won a state championship underneath the tree, and I said, I can't do this. But we can do this. But we need some help even there. Pull out scripture of the cloth. It was 1 Peter 5, verse 6 and 7. It says, Humble yourself therefore on the mighty hand of God, casting all your cares upon him, and in due time he will exalt your life. And so that went into my pocket and sticks in my heart and has been delivered to countless players. You probably couldn't do it today and I'd lose my job, but I would lose it. I would lose, <coughs> lose it all to stand and glorify and honor the God that has made heaven 
in the earth. Other Bearcats as I close. My sister right there, first black cheerleader here. <coughs> first black cheerleader, class of? 72. Class of 72. <laughs> okay. My other sister, Rosalind, you are merit finalist, so smart she made everything hard on us. <laughs> I mean, she's that smart, it's unfair. What class are you? Class of 69, thank you. Class of 69. Okay. And then, the first black student body president only reason you got that, I was going to run, but I was too scared. <laughs> no, just kidding. That's my other sister, Kathy, lives in Florence, Alabama. Your class, and you need, what class were you, baby? 77. Class of 77. My daughter, Andrea, couldn't make it. She's teaching in Bermuda. I told somebody it was going to be a teacher. But my son, I'm sorry. Oh, she's looking. Love you, baby. Love the technology. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. My firstborn child. Sorry. She's a class of, can you say something? 2010. Class of 2010. So it's a house full, slam full. Bearcats, what was your class? Another class president at Hendersonville High School. 2013. 2013. So we have a we have a lot of little things that we are uh, appreciative of in regards to what Hendersonville actually and truly did for me and for us. A world of real gratitude to loving loving place that uh, sometimes, like I said, it can't be described and go all over the world. And I taught in Bermuda at Markman Institute. I took a little Hendersonville with me. And they were like, is that fair to love everybody like that? <laughs> He lettered in basketball, track, football, and baseball. He was part of both basketball and baseball state championship teams. He was the 1975 Hinsborough High School president of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. He was a member of the Spanish Club, Key Club, and National Honor Society. After graduating from Hinsborough High School, Mr. Rivers received a BS in education from the University of Tennessee, where he was the first African-American baseball signee of the college. Rivers was head coach for the JV basketball and varsity baseball teams and an assistant coach in football and varsity basketball. He served as director of minority services while earning his master's degree in counseling from Western Carolina University. Rivers can be remembered hosting the annual Martin Luther King breakfast events yearly and raising money for minority scholarships given by the college. Big hand for Mr. Gary Rivers, 2021 Hall of Fame inductee. Once again, another round of applause for the 2021 Hillsborough High School Alumni Association Hall of Fame inductee. Thank you for all you have done through the years. Once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat. Oh, yeah. We love that Bearcat. Where's my brother? Go, Bearcat. Come get in the picture. 
Hey! Aww. I got too much stuff in my hands. How was tonight? How was it? Oh, that was great. It was good? <laughs> yeah. This is us. <laughs> Once a bear cat. Always a bear cat. <laughs>